Oh, let's go, Peachy. But Mart. not gonna take the win away at all from Night Money. Yeah. He played beautifully, oh, yeah. calling out every single one of Dank's like options, especially in the first game. Yeah. That was beautiful. Okay. He was just responding to everything, which with a solid, strong knee every time. Every time. Okay, so now we have Kitty versus Night Money in losers finals yep. here. And this is gonna be a good. This is gonna be a good set. I'm excited for this. We are good to go. And the winner of this goes to grand finals. The loser of this gets third place. Yep. Which is not too bad. I mean, 44 entrants today. I mean, you at least you definitely get your entry back. Oh yeah, definitely. I saw um, yesterday melee and Monday's got 62 entrants. Oh yeah, that was yeah, incredible. All right, but going to FD. Um, I don't know. Falcon has space here, but Falco can lasers really, yeah, are just shut down brutal. Falco's movement. And um, I, I was saying this earlier actually about this exact matchup. Oh. Um, um, all right, kid, <laughs> opting for the charity We're stock there to actually just say, you know, I didn't even need that. I'm just going to win you. I'm going to beat you with Brawl stocks. Perfectly here. executed stock. But, um, anyway, as I was saying, um, Falcon's one of its strongest assets is his incredible movement speed. Yeah. His dash dance is terrifying and really, really good. And you lose that when lasers are just constantly on the field somewhere. Yeah. You're either being forced into your shield or you're being forced to actually jump and approach yeah, in a very linear like fashion. And it's not fear. horrible though in this yeah. matchup because you know you your movement speed allows you to tech chase really really well, mm -hmm. and you, you have punishes for days. You don't yeah. have to worry about reading someone's tech on a platform or anything. You can just get that raw combo underneath, yep. which Ooh. is incredibly beneficial. But you know we'll see how this goes. Um, and actually, Kitty, you know he killed himself earlier, but yeah. this is this isn't looking too bad. Ooh, that was a perfect sweet spot right mm -hmm. there. That was you know. A, uh, that was. I don't agree with the illusion on stage, though. Um, yeah. Knight's a very experienced player. Both of these guys are, and yeah. they're ready for that. Mm -hmm. They're Death expecting that. Catch high-level players. Oh, wow! That was an amazing tech. And he had like so much momentum from that that he was still moving towards the ledge after the tech. And see, these lasers just shutting down his options. Mm -hmm. But Knight's handling it really well. Oh yeah. Definitely. He's not getting intimidated. He's not jumping out of his shield mm -hmm. like when Kitty's expecting him to. He's not giving him those openings that he wants. Yeah. So, you no, know, he's handling this really well. That's partially why he's a stock up <laughs> right now. Oh, somebody was going for it. Probably should have wave dashed into it the uh, fourth smash. Okay, Ooh, there we go. That's yeah. dead. That's super dead. That's amazingly dead. <laughs> Confirmed dead. All right, so let's see. Oh, Kitty not. Oh, ended up restarting another punish here. But he wasn't able Ooh. to get that one started earlier. Yeah. And, you know, he was just in a weird position, really awkward, not quite able to do anything. Mm -hmm. So that percent would have been incredibly beneficial. And now oh, you're in that situation, which yeah. is incredibly terrible. Because either tech behind or tech in place. Can't really tech towards the ledge because you're going to stay there and get take the hit anyways. So kind of had a 25% chance, or 33%. There's three choices there. <laughs> I can do math. I don't know what math is. <laughs> anyway, we're actually at 63%. Um, you know, it's good stock up yeah. for night money. I can read numbers, but I can't do math. Ooh. But, um, a little bit of tech and any kind of percent for night at this point is just really good extra credit. Yeah. Really, really important here. Because, okay. you know, um, at a certain percent, Knight's just gonna get disgusting combos. He's gonna get he's gonna get Falco to crouch cancel percent. Mm -hmm. So that's one of um, Kitty's defensive options just outright gone. Yeah. And it's gonna become really really scary if Kitty's not able to take the stocks soon. Oof. Very nice movement right there. Wave landing back on the ledge just to uh, get Knight to back off a little bit. Ooh. Or um, Kitty to back off a little bit. Ooh, bear. Ooh. Almost killed off the top. That <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I don't just, know about that. Get just had attack. to wait. Yeah. Just had to roll. That's all you had to do. Well, this might. Ooh. Oh, okay. Not quite ripped yet. The dream is still alive. <laughs> Barely. Stop it. It's still alive. Stop <laughs> it. He can't make it back from there. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's just a little preemptive just, on his uh, edge guard. Wow. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Yeah, yeah. Against a character like Fal. Ooh, I don't know about that. That. Okay, but um. Falcon's recovery is really, really linear, and for a player who's as experienced as Kitty, mm. I would expect him to like have a really good understanding and yeah. comfort in Falcon's recovery range, mm -hmm. so he knows when just to roll. Yeah. Because like, sometimes Ooh, no. that little flub there cost him yeah. the game, but you just gotta know when to keep it simple. Yep. You don't always gotta go for the really complex exactly, edge guard. Yeah. You don't always gotta go for the ledge cancel there. I, right, I mean, like ledge hop there or whatever. Grab ledge. And just I think it. or roll. Who was it? TK Breezy says that a lot on VG Bootcamp. It's like people lose matches just because they won't grab ledge. Mm -hmm. He preaches that. Just grab it. 
That's All you have the to truth. do is jump off the ledge, put your hand on it. Okay, and we're going in right back. Oh, wow. That actually... Well, I, that low percent, I'm pretty sure Knight could have made it back. But mm -hmm. He's going for some style really early there. Yeah, I, I can agree with him going back. Again, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. Falco, ha Falco has a hyper... Like, he has a lot of potential to really control this kind of stage. Yeah. And if he can get something started, really get some comfort, and not get stuck in his shine, then um, he can absolutely dominate this mm -hmm. stage. It's terrifying. And he's getting stuck in his shine a lot right now. It's yeah. like twice in a row. Uh, hopefully these flubs aren't going to be seen throughout the rest of the set. Hopefully. Ooh. Okay, very nice. Calling the jump, and that's going to be the stock. Yeah. All right, so Kitty taking the early lead. Earliest lead. He's at 56%. Yeah. As Falco, that's pretty scary. Yeah, <laughs> like especially against Falcon. A good back air in like the second half of the stage is going to knock you off instead of pretty yeah. hard. And Falco, I mean, and Falcon can cover you know your options fairly well. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty scary. Ooh, very nice jab to grab right there. Doesn't get that much off of it, but Let's see if we can get. Oh, oh, uh, he's just calling it at this point. Just reading the movement and capitalizing on it. Mm -hmm. But he's going to take a very fresh 58% there, mm -hmm. which is good extra credit for Kitty there. So that's going to be really important. Oh. Knight's now at a percent where that happens. Did, so, so did that shield poke or did he jump out of it? I think he just tried to jump out of it. Okay. His shield was still completely full yeah. there. He's probably going to try and jump out and either like wave dash or try to just escape the situation. Yeah. Maybe retreat to the ledge or something, but mm -hmm. he just instantly got caught by that because that move is active for so long. Yeah. It's incredible. Ooh. Okay. Knight throwing out that had to have been an accident. Yeah, well I don't know, I mean I mean it's He's only hit one, <laughs> but the thing is he's been so on top of Kitty's movement the entire match. That's that, actually that's a very good yeah. point. If he landed that forward smash, Falco would be dead. Yeah. So Okay. That he was, was ready for that. <laughs> Alright. Up air oh you know what? He might have been ready to L cancel that up air and it just ended up being attacked because he got down there and into the hmm. ground. That's possible, yeah. actually. Now that I think about it. But, but we're just no, going to say he teched Also, <laughs> Hitty with the incredible lead right now. Two stocks up to one and oh, God, a combo start wasn't able to quite get much more off of that. Only 21%. Like, that could have been a clean 50 or 60. Yeah. Uh, oh, why does he keep doing that? He's trying to, um, it's just a messed up lasers, I'm pretty yeah. sure. And he's just illusioning. It's a call. It's a common error that you see, but um, you know, not typically from Falco is as good as Kitty. Ooh. No, at least tech flubs don't continue and cost him the game. Wow, two spot dodges. Kitty seems kind of scared just because of all these callouts that mm -hmm. Knight has been spot on with. There nice. he is. All right. He's not going to let that fear get to him. Nope. Took the game with a really solid two stock. Showing that even though he lost the first game to it, he's mm -hmm. he's gonna run right back and beat you on it. Yep. That's the kind of player Kitty is. All right. So. Okay, gonna go okay, right, back, right to back to FD again. All right. All right. We might see the entire. Wait. No, we can't see the entire set of your sadly. So. Wait a oh, second. Yeah, Are they DSR. gentlemen here? Um. Oh. Rip. Because yeah, Knight won the first match here. Yeah. Kitty just said that they gentlemen. Okay. Cool. I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Now both players have won in this match at this point. But yeah, we might see the cancels each other. We literally might see the entire set on FD. Which I mean, their games are pretty even here. Oh, oh, that would have been an insane call out. That was almost absolutely disgusting. Oh, nice reset with the laser. Yeah, I wasn't able to get anything out of it though. He was baiting something out, mm -hmm. but got nothing out of it. He just yeah. reset back to neutral there. Ooh, fair. Got the happy feet there. Fair, fair. is a very underrated move when it comes you to think Falco. So? I don't, eh. Um, not in neutral. It's bad in neutral, but it's a, it's one of Falco's really good combo extenders. Yeah. It keeps his combos going a lot. You'll see a lot of players like what Matt .zeb or West Balls use it a lot to keep their combos con mm -hmm. continuing. It reaches a little bit farther than there, and it also has like multi hits. Yeah. So okay. and if you can ledge cancel it especially, yeah. it's right into more stuff. Can we talk about how uh, Knight just SDI tech at 170? Um, I looked away. Uh, it didn't and happen. And I looked away. It didn't SD, <laughs> it didn't so happen. he has to do it again. Stream saw it. Pretty sure they're freaking out about that because that was ridiculous. That was probably beautiful. I looked away right at the wrong moment. <laughs> I probably would have freaked out when I saw that. Oh, going with the multi shines. We're getting stuck after the third. Ooh. 
All right, we have yeah, a big gonna, opportunity yeah, here. He's gonna pay for Come that on. one. Oh. oh my God! All the way across the stage. Oh, okay. Forward smash. Laser. Laser. Yep. And oh, oh no! Why? Definitely wasn't intending for that to happen. I'm pretty sure he just went for like, just like just down just here to cover the ledge there. Anything that didn't involve SDing. Yeah, anything <laughs> that didn't involve him falling off the stage and dying. All right. Definitely. Night All right. taking a breather. He's been doing that a lot lately, and I feel like that's one important thing that players need to do because that respawn platform is there for you. Like, it's there for you. It's a good few one, seconds. To, like, get a handle on the situation, and two, just to calm yourself yeah, down. Yeah, think about why you lost. Think yeah. about what you can do differently, and also just, you know, calm yourself down. A lot of players will just instantly run right back in yeah. and fall for the exact, the exact same, same thing. Because they're doing the exact mm -hmm. same thing. Well, you'll see that a lot, especially at, like, a lower level. Mm -hmm. Like a Spacey going up against a Marth. Yeah. Just instantly die, run right back to the ledge and get exactly. back yeah. again and <laughs> die it's instantly. Like, well, just, you know, take the time. Relax. Like, analyze the situation. Why did you die? What can you do differently? And also just calm down. <gasps> oh, again. What is night? Like, oh, I don't understand. These techs are carrying like, MB victory right He just right has now. like a macro to SDI into the He has attack. a little button on the yeah. bottom. Kind of like Jairus with yeah. his misfires. <laughs> All right. This is 110%. Mm -hmm. Night's going to have to yeah. be very careful. Oh, Ooh, God. They're both respecting each other's options a lot right now. They're both just kind of hitting and running, just poking each other and just getting out of there. Yeah. Neither of them just going super in right now. And, like, the thing is, like, Nice playing so defensive right now that he hasn't had time to, like, rebuild his shield, and those lasers are starting to shield poke. Hmm. Okay, now he's got his shield back, so it should help, but... Kitty is just applying amazing pressure right now. Mm -hmm. Kind of keeping Knight on the run. He's just get, you know, racking on damage when he can. And he's taking about 40% in laser damage so far. Yeah, but... Just since, like, know, this last stock started. Which is really good, mm -hmm. but, um... Until he can convert it into something that's actually going to kill him, yeah. it's it's really, really it's dangerous at this percent. Yeah, no, Any damage Kitty takes at this point is just one step closer to dying. Oh, The, the fade back there is absolutely beautiful. Now we're in a tech situation against Falco. Falcon. Right? Oh, no. The air dodge there. Okay, oh, but that backer is going to do yeah, it. I will take it. And I'm expecting running right back to final destination. Probably. But it's 2-1 yeah. <laughs> right now. Kitty versus Knight. And pretty good set so far. Yeah, a lot of these close. games have been really close. Mm -hmm. But um, actually, wait, that was last stock. I don't know what I'm talking about. What? No, I was going to say it was two stocks in a row, but I was completely wrong. Yeah. So. Okay, final destination. We're going right <laughs> back. Perfect. Game five, all FD. Let's I don't go. Know, like, where else could they go? Like, I mean, in either Kitty's or Knight's situation. I mean, both of them are playing on the stage really well, despite the yeah. matchup, like, limitations for I both I completely them. understand why they're going back. Yeah. Except, uh... To be fair, Knight's lost on the stage two times in a row now. True, yeah. That's, um... So I don't know why Knight's letting this Knight, happen. But. He might just be being stubborn. He just wants, he knows he can yeah. win on this stage, and he's just going to try and prove it. Mm -hmm. And then knowing, if, if he wins this match, he's just going to run right back to FD again. Yeah. I know, it's just going to happen. Yeah. No, just I know, like there's, a, there's quite a few games, options. Last game, go to Mute City. It's FD, yeah, <laughs> all four games. Okay. Yeah, uh, especially like you know when you have no bands and whatnot. Oh. It's a, a lot of preference at that point, especially in a matchup like this where there's no, there's no stage that really is a hard counter to someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know it's all preference, mm -hmm. and they're both gentlemen in here. So let's see. And yeah. oh my! If, if Kitty got that kill there, that would have solidified oh, yeah. his lead so well. That would have been two stocks up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they've almost equaled the percents here, and Kitty's up one stock. So this is... Kitty's looking so fresh right yeah. now. Yeah. He is not like, letting... Compared to, like, the very first game we saw where Knight was kind of just reading him. Yeah. Down he's definitely complete, stepped man. it up. You know, he was just kind of on a bit slower internet. Yeah. It took yeah. him a little <laughs> bit longer. <laughs> the dial-up Oh! Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. It's so scary. Yeah. Both of these players like facing the opposite way and so you just know they will both want a back air. Yeah. And if Falcon gets the back air, Falco's dead. It's really, really scary. Ooh, and oh. Bear. Oh nice. wow. Ready to jump yeah, there, baited it out smart. and then just retreated just and bared him right in the face. Waiting. Absolutely beautiful from Kitty. Kitty looking so good. I love it. Oh. Oh man. He's just He's Knight's just not going to do yeah. anything. He's, he's downloaded just, him. He's just That's waiting and say. then just spacing him out with back airs and a lot of safe oh, moves. Oh, did he use his jump there? Um, 
I'm not sure. It was also probably just bad DI. That makes me so sad when you power shield Falco's laser and they're still invincible, so they're just like, oh, I'll just take that laser and yeah. shoot you again. I got finally with the power. Oh. oh okay. All right. So now it's almost even. Yeah. Um, 81% is a lot, mm -hmm. but you've seen Knight you know, come back from way yeah, yeah. worse than that. So it's almost even at this point. But you know, Captain Falcon is definitely at a crash cancel percent. Even though he doesn't use it a lot, that's still something. And oh, oh. well, this turned around right. really quickly. Yeah, very quickly. It was two stock lead, then a one stock lead, and now he's behind. All right. Very nice bear. This is very close right now. All right. Oh. And that's a scary thing. Every time Knight gets a grab, he gets so much off of it. Definitely. And I don't know. It's not just the matchup. It's just like how like. How much he's downloaded Kitty at this point. Almost that speed right there, though. Yeah, and um, like what was mentioned to me earlier, um, um, Knight's really, he's playing Falcon a lot right now to try and hone his tech chasing. Oh, okay. Um, Why isn't he playing cheap? What? I mean, <laughs> that's actually a good question. Yeah, like, Falcon. you want to get better at tech chasing, please. Sheep. Falcon's, you know, he's, he's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> she has potentially exciting options. Potent yeah. It gets hype sometimes. Um. You know, I guess that's also probably why he picked up Sheik as well, to test that out. Oh, yeah. I would imagine. But yeah, after he, like, really hones his tech chasing, he's going to try and um, really get his Fox back up in the order. Okay. Back up in the shape. Okay. But anyway, back to the match. Because this is right down yeah. to the wire here. This is last stock, pretty much even percents. And, you know, if Kitty wins this, mm -hmm. Knight's out of the tournament. Yeah. That's, par that's part of why we're seeing him play so safe right now. But, you know. If he can, if, if he can get one of like a down throw or an up throw started, yeah. Oh my, this is scary Ooh. just for both. And people. Knight, I mean, Kenny not even using lasers or not. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to stay close. Oh, oh, it doesn't move. That's gonna be the game. Very Try, good game. Tried to play dead there for a second. Yeah, and ended up dead. Also, yeah. shots to.